If you want to convert HEIC photos to JPEG photos on your iPhone, I've got some great news. Your iPhone actually already has the capability to do that. You don't have to go to any third-party website or download any weird apps to convert these photos. And you can convert as many as you want. The power of doing this is within the Shortcuts app on your iPhone. Now, if you're unfamiliar with the Shortcuts app, I'm going to show you here on a Mac real quick. Basically, you can create these shortcuts and have them available to you anywhere on your iPhone as quick actions. Uh, for instance, this convert HIC to JPEG shortcut that I made is pretty complex and complicated. So you probably don't want to get into all this, but I actually made this shortcut available, and this is how simple it is to use. There's a link in the description down below if you want to check it out while I show you. But if you go to something like your Photos app or your Files app or anywhere you have an image, and you've got an image here, and this is an HEIC or HEIF image, uh, once you click on one or select multiple, doesn't matter, the little share button in the lower left will pop up, and we can click on that, and you can see the button right here, Convert HEIC to JPEG. Now I did one little thing in here to make sure it popped up to the top of the menu, but this is where the shortcut shows up. So if you download the shortcut in the description or the top comment down below, it actually will show up right here. And once you click on that, if you have a photo selected, it's gonna just ask you, where do you wanna save this photo? So you can literally save it into photos, any album, you can create a new album, save it over to files if you want. And the cool part about this is that it actually keeps all the metadata and preserves the quality of the image as well. You can also go back to the share menu, which gives you as many options as you want. Now, it's going to ask uh, if you want to allow the shortcut to uh, basically share the photo, etc. So you can click allow once, or you can click always allow. This shortcut is not an app. It's actually built into your iPhone. And so it's all yours too once you download it. So the shortcut is completely editable and becomes yours and it doesn't access the internet or anything to do anything weird. It just uses the iPhone to convert these photos. So we can allow once if we want or click always allow if you don't want to see that pop up again. But basically that share button brought open this same share menu again, except that image has been converted to a JPEG image and I can do anything I want. Do I want to email it uh, with Gmail or something? Do I want to send it in a message? Do I want to save the image this way or add it in any million other different ways? Uh, I could use that little share button as more options. I can always exit out of this as well and kind of redo whatever I want. So if we go back to all these photos, look, I could even select, some of you like to batch do a bunch of photos you might have a ton on your phone you can select multiple as many as you want and then you can hit that share button and just convert heic to jpeg and it's going to convert all those and then ask you where do you want to save them i could even save these over to files if i wanted to or create a new album maybe that's what i'll do so i've got all these heic photos i'm going to create a new album that's just jpeg right so i'm going to just create an album called jpeg and hit done and it's going to ask me once again for that permission to actually make this album that's sort of apple's privacy settings so we can allow that always allow whatever we want to do and then i'm going to go back here and try to get out of this library view and scroll down till i get to albums and i have this little jpeg album down here and it's got all those photos in here that are now jpeg let's see how do we do this yep jpeg right here instead of that H-E-I-C, or sometimes you see H-E-I-F. So what is the link down there? It's a shortcut that you can download and then it becomes your shortcut. You can do with it what you want. I put comments in there to kind of show you, I guess, how it works, like each section of it. So if you're trying to tweak it to be something specific to you, uh, but you really don't need to, all you would have to do, click the link, it'll take you to this page, uh, you can just go in and uh, purchase, download, and then it's yours. And what it's going to do is it's going to show up in your downloads, which would be up here in the upper left. So you can go in there and click it, and it'll just open it in shortcuts. Or you can go to your files, which is actually where your downloads are. Uh, so we can go to our files app, which should be somewhere on here. It looks like a little folder. Inside the files app, here's where your downloads are going to be. And you'll see the shortcut there, and all you have to do is click on it and it opens it into shortcuts and you can add that shortcut in. 
And as soon as you add it in, it shows up in that menu that we uh, looked at earlier on the share sheet. And so that share sheet menu to bring it to the top, if you actually download that shortcut and you want to see it as one of the first items, you can actually just go down here and edit actions. And inside of here, there's a favorites row. And so what I did, I can remove it from favorites. It's just going to be right down here. And so you can just click that plus icon and it puts it right up at the top and you can hit done. And so that's how that comes to the top right here. Now, if you don't want this shortcut, there is one other option to share or send JPEG photos and kind of convert them at the same time. So if I had a photo, let me back out to some of these HEIC photos. Uh, if I had a photo that was HEIC like this one, I can go to the share button in this little options up here. If I click on that, I can adjust the format to the most compatible. That will change it from that high efficiency or HEIC format to JPEG, most compatible. And so when you do that and hit done, then for some of these share options, it will work. For some, it won't. Now, this is just what iPhone gives you now. So I created a shortcut to do this in a better way, and that's what the link is down below. But with iPhone, you can kind of do that most compatible switcheroo and then send the image somewhere. It kind of works, but I would say the shortcut down here actually works a little bit better. And so that link, like I said, is in the description down below. And by the way, it also works on Mac. So if you have that shortcut and just click it on Mac, it'll do the same thing. Uh, if we have any image down here, you can see over here, if I right click on this, I can actually go to quick actions and I could go to customize. And I don't know if I have this shortcut in here quite yet. I do. So if I don't see the shortcut in the quick actions, but I have it installed, I can go to uh, the settings here, which basically was customizing my quick actions and I can turn that on. So when I have that turned on, now when I right click any image or set of images, I can go to quick actions, convert HEIC to JPEG, click on that, and it takes you through the menu of converting it. You can see that menu right here. And so I can save it to the current folder or save to photos, save to computer, and it'll just walk you through that. So this should save it to my desktop. We'll see if it does. Yep. You can see right there, it didn't convert because it was already JPEG, but if it was an HEIC, it would just save the JPEG version right there. So this works on Mac and on iPhone. Really appreciate your support downloading it. Uh, you know, if you have any questions about it or if something's not working for you, hit me up in the comments or shoot me an email. And that is how you can convert HEIC to JPEG on your iPhone without going to any other weird sites or anything like that. And it's yours forever. I'll see you guys in the next one.